Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we are discussing the Patek Philippe Golden Ellipse. This is the 5738P-001, the latest in a long line of roughly elliptical watches that first debuted in 1968. There's a lot to love. Let's start with the dimensions. They're endearing. 34.5 millimeters from 3 to 9, not including the crown. The watch is ultra thin, though automatic winding. It is 6.2 millimeters thick and from basically case flank to case flank, it is a lugless watch. The measurement is 39.4 millimeters. And of course, the watch in platinum is incredibly massive for its size, but there's still more. This is a golden ellipse, and traditionally, the golden ellipse is not named because it is made of gold, but because of the aspect ratio, which approximates the golden ratio. Now, I'll be totally honest. The golden ratio would amount to approximately 1 to 1.618, and this watch is not terribly close to that, so Patek has hedged a little bit. We have white gold hands, we have white gold indices, and a long-running tradition on golden ellipse watches. The dial is made of solid 18-karat gold that has been blued and infused with a lovely metallic glow. So that does justify the golden terminology. On my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference, the watch wears a bit larger than you might expect given its lug-to-lug -lug dimensions. Now, if you look at this watch as a 34.5 millimeter watch, that undersells the presence it has. Non-round watches always wear a little bit larger. The advantage here is that the watch is completely lugless, so while the dial and case wear large, the absence of lugs mean that you can still wear this watch on a wrist as small as 13 and a half centimeters circumference. You don't need a smaller ellipse. If you have a taste for traditional watches, or perhaps you're a lady with a tinier wrist, you can wear this one just fine. And you can see down the barrel how much clearance I have on each side. And even better, you can see from over the top how much space I have on each side. The strap is like the watch, thin and spare. High gloss, large rectangular scale alligator leather in blue. It features a broad folded edge, a monotone stitch, and on the bottom, calfskin. It is a brand new Patek Philippe calfskin strap. You can see it is in outstanding condition. And it has a little bit of a taper to it. It's unconventional in how it fixes itself to the case. So you can't necessarily go and buy a similarly sized aftermarket strap. You're going to have to stick with Patek OEM options or have a custom made strap fashioned. Of course, this is a platinum Patek Philippe of modern construction, which means two things. One, Patek made the case, and two, there's a top Vesselton diamond between the lugs, maybe at the base of the case down at six o'clock. That's always your key that you're looking at a modern platinum Patek in a wonderfully poetic way of using diamonds on a watch that is not overtly feminine. You can see that the watch has a buckle to match. It too is made by Patek and platinum ultra white. It has that same elliptical form, all of high polish. And the case is all of high polish. As you can see, it's a relatively simple affair. We have a simple undersized crown that's designed to be unobtrusive. And then on the reverse side, you can see that there is top to bottom satination and the lugs really are quite spare. There's not a whole lot going on on the reverse side, but the reason for the solid case back is because solid case back watches are thinner. Now on the dial side, we have a spectacular metallic blue sunburst. We have those lovely polished and somewhat rounded vaulted style baton hour and minute hands. We have identical markers. The markers are in miniature, much like the hands. We have a polished cannon pinion, and then very little text, Patek Philippe Genève made in Switzerland, all good. But what's underneath that solid case back is still intriguing. This is the 240 micro rotor. It has a small 22 karat gold micro rotor that allows the watch to be automatic winding, but also as thin as a manual wind. The movement has a 48 hour power reserve. It has six position adjustment. It beats away at six beats per second. It bears the Patek Philippe seal. It has a free sprung balance and a Spiromax anti-magnetic silicon hairspring all pivoting on 27 joules. The movement is only 2.53 millimeters thick, which makes it ultra thin for an automatic. And because of all of those refinements it has, the free sprung balance, the six position adjustment, the silicon hairspring, and the Patek seal, this watch is guaranteed from the factory to run no worse than minus three plus two seconds per day. And all of this is 30 meters water resistant. Reach out to tmaso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.